So if you own a 14 to 18 5.3 liter powered Silverado or Sierra, and you want one of the deepest and throatiest catbacks available for your truck, you should be checking out the MF Series catback behind me from Magnaflow. This system gives you a healthy three out of five on that loudness meter, really opens up the sound of the 5.3 motor. However, unlike some other systems that might cost a little less, this system does not get sloppy or gurgly or raspy. The MF Series muffler on this is a straight through design, but it is baffled and chambered, so it really tunes the sound profile of the 5.3 motor, gives it that really deep, almost muscle car kind of sound, which I personally really like. There are a few other reasons why I really like the MF Series catback, and one of those reasons is quality. This is is just under the thousand dollar mark so it's pretty middle of the road in terms of higher end systems it's made out of 409 factory grade stainless steel so it will easily last the life of your truck certainly a nice touch if you live on the east or west coast and you get a lot of bad weather and it installs very easily there's actually no cutting required for this system reuses all your factory hangers and rubber isolators so getting this thing hung up in the driveway with basic hand tools should only take you about an hour or two for that reason i'm going to give this install an easy two out of three wrenches on my patented difficulty meter. So if you like the way the MF catback sounds, stick around. I'm going to show you the install step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. To install your new catback, you'll need the following tools. A drive ratchet with a 13 millimeter deep socket and a 15 millimeter deep socket and an 11 16 wrench. Optional but helpful tools include an impact gun, pry bar, and some spray lubricant. So before we install our new catback, we actually have to remove our original catback. Pulling it off the truck is very straightforward. It's actually one piece. So it's gonna come off of this clamp right here, right behind the Y pipe and the factory catalytic converter. To loosen this clamp, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter deep socket. All right, with our clamp loosened, we're gonna spray all the rubber isolators and the hangers on our factory cap pack so we can pull it from the truck. All right, once you've pulled the three rubber isolators immediately in front of and behind the muffler, you have one more here at the tailpipe. You're gonna to wanna to take your time and be careful pulling this one off. It's actually the last piece holding your factory cap back to the vehicle. Once you pull it down from this rubber isolator, it's really easy to remove the cap back. You're just gonna slide it towards the rear of the truck over the axle, then you can let that front extension pipe drop down behind the cross member and you can pull the entire thing out as one piece. So now that we got our factory exhaust removed, we went ahead and mocked up our new system. That way we can see where everything is supposed to go. And like I mentioned earlier, there's no cutting again for this system. As you can see, it comes as the correct length as long as you select the correct cab and bed length on the product page. Moving on down the line here, you can see we got all our factory hanger locations. Makes it even simpler in terms of install. And then real quick, I wanted to mention you got this nice MF series muffler that I talked about earlier. That's primarily responsible for giving you that louder tone and that really nice deep throaty tone. It is a straight through muffler. However, it is still baffled and chambered, really tunes the sound up, something a lot of other systems don't do when you get higher volume like this one does. And what I really like about this system, now that I can show you here, we ditched the factory resonator. That really kills the sound even further. That's one of the other reasons I really like the MF Series Catback. And then again, you got those nice split rear exit chrome polished tips, really gives it a classic look here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and throw the new system on our truck. All right, now we're gonna start throwing on our new catback and we're gonna start with our front extension pipe. We're gonna reuse the clamp behind the cat that we loosened earlier. You're gonna wanna make sure you throw the hanger into the factory rubber isolator right here behind the cross member. All right, with our front extension pipe hung up, it's time for us to install our muffler. We're gonna step it up to a 15 millimeter deep socket from a 13 millimeter socket for all these new clamps. I'm gonna grab one of the large three inch diameter clamps in the kit, throw it on the back of the extension pipe like so. You can slide the flared end of the muffler up here. All right, with our muffler hung and in place, we're gonna start installing the rest of our cap back. We're gonna grab the over axle pipe for the passenger side and we're gonna grab one of these smaller clamps in the kit, throw it on the right outlet of the muffler and then throw this guy on after it. All right, after you place the passenger side over axle up there, you're gonna grab your passenger side tailpipe, grab another small clamp and slide it over the flared end like so before you throw it onto the over axle pipe.
All right, with our passenger side hung up, we're going to finish our driver side before we install our tips. But before we do that, we have to install this new hanger. Now on your truck, there is a hole pre-drilled in the frame up here, so you're going to sandwich this new hanger in between the hole in the frame with the two flat washers like so. To tighten these bolts down, you're going to need an 11 16 wrench. All right, now that new hanger is in place, we're going to install our driver's side over axle tube. Same deal, you're going to grab one of the smaller clamps in the kit, throw it on the left side outlet of the muffler, and you're going to thread this guy over the axle and tighten it down. All right, with our driver's side over axle tube in place, it's the same deal as the passenger side. We're going to throw on our new tailpipe. This little rubber isolator, the new one, is a bit of a squeeze, so it's a good idea to spray it down. You're also going to want to grab the last of the small clamps in the kit, put it over the flared end of the new tailpipe like so. All right, now that all of our tubes are in place, we're going to install our new tips. We're going to tighten them down on the tailpipes, then we can go ahead and make sure everything else is lined up from back to front and tighten down all of the clamps that we installed earlier. So with both of our tips tightened down, the last step here is tightening down all the clamps that we installed like I mentioned earlier. Again, you're going to need a 15 millimeter deep socket for all of these. All right, now that our entire cat back is hung up and our tips are in place, we're going to drive home the original 13 millimeter clamp holding the cat back to the white pipe. Things have shifted during the install, so we want to make sure we don't get any leaks right here. And that actually wraps up my review and install of Magnaflow's MF Series dual exhaust in the rear exit configuration. I'm Travis. Thanks for watching. Keep it right here at americantrucks.com.